This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. The northern bobwhite quail is the most well-known native game bird in Kansas, according to Charlie Lee, wildlife management expert for K-State and K-State Research and Extension. The winter months serve as an important time for landowners to consider how to make land more quail friendly. Bob White quail have been making a very strong recovery in western Kansas, according to Jason Wagner, wildlife biologist for the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. Quail populations in western Kansas are boom or bust because they are closely tied to the timing and amount of precipitation. Conditions over the last three years have allowed for prime quail habitat during nesting and brood-rearing times. Quail hatch peaks in late June and early July. Quail also have a tenacious re-nesting behavior, which allows them to continue to attempt to raise broods until they are successful. Bless their hearts. Bob whites are known as an edge species. They thrive in areas that have abrupt changes in habitat. These areas are generally where woody vegetation, like shrubs, meets native grasslands, cropland, or weedy areas. One key component is woody escape cover, preferably shrubs that are three to six feet tall. Quail need residual cover of native warm season grasses to nest in. In order to raise a brood, Bob Whites need bare ground with good overhead canopy cover and lots of insects for foraging. Areas of brood rearing habitat have abundant forbs or flowering plants that are not grasses. During the winter months, quail need areas of woody or weedy cover to get out of the extreme weather of western Kansas. Good quail habitat begins with properly managed native warm season grasses. Quail can benefit from common grassland practices like prescribed burning. Trees like honey locusts, elms, and cedars should be removed from grasslands that are being managed for quail. Shrubs like sandhill plum, American plum, and fragrant sumac should be left for escape cover. Shrub thickets should be spaced apart, about as far as you can throw a softball. If there are no shrubs present, planting a variety of shrubs and rows or thickets along the edges of crop fields or rangeland can also improve quail habitat. Conservation Reserve Program, CRP, has helped boost quail populations in Kansas since it began in 1985. Interceding forbs into CRP will also improve the quality of habitat for bobwhites. Grassed terraces or native warm season grass waterways are also excellent ways to improve quail habitat on crop fields. Any native grass strips should be at least 30 feet wide. An easy way to create escape cover for quail is cutting on an easy way to create escape cover for quail is cutting unwanted trees like locust, cedar, and elm, and then loosely stacking them into brush piles. Old windrows and hedgerows can be renovated to further help the local quail population. Trees in windrows can be cut and left where they fall. Osage orange trees can be cut off at ground level and then the stump left unsprayed. The tree will re-sprout at the stump and create the woody escape cover quail require. The edges of riparian areas can be feathered by cutting trees along the edge and leaving the cut trees where they fall. Odd areas or strips in cropland can be left unsprayed and untilled to allow for weed growth that would benefit quail. Any odd areas or weedy areas should be left along the edge of crop fields and positioned close to permanent native grasses or woody vegetation. Leaving a strip of ground along the fence rows or roads undisturbed will create areas of edge for the bobwhites. Cover crops may also benefit quail by providing brood-rearing habitat, a food source, and escape cover. The experts assure us that managing for quail is not difficult. It just requires some planning this time of year. Come spring, the bobwhite will be singing our praises.
Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun.